Second down. So at last they get John Conte in the same ring as Les Stevens for a proper fight. These two have sparred together as amateurs and as pros. Conte with the two white stripes down the side of his shorts and the darker boots. And Les Stevens from Reading with the name Steve-O emblazoned on the bottom left-hand corner of his shorts. Conte going back tonight to the heavyweight class that he left a year ago. He's now, of course, a triple champion at light heavyweight, but he's come into the ring tonight at 12 stone 13. That's six pounds above the light heavyweight limit. And he's still giving away nine and a quarter pounds to Les Stevens, who has recently won the Southern Area heavyweight title. pleasing style behind that left jab. Would have met Conte in an eliminator last year in the heavyweight class had Conte not elected to go down to light heavy. So that one was off. And so too was their projected meeting at Liverpool in December when Stevens withdrew with an arm injured in training. So this is the third attempt to match them. That was a good left hand from Conte. needs a good fight tonight because his last three opponents he's disposed of without too much trouble he stopped Vicente Rondon in nine rounds outpointed baby boy Rolly from the Bahamas quite easily and then at the end of the year he beat Fred Lewis a rather disappointing American opponent in three rounds Second off. This scheduled to go 10 rounds and there were quite a few people in boxing who thought that Stevens was well capable of taking Conte the distance even though Conte is a more powerful hitter we shall see Conte dropped down to light heavyweight because he wasn't a genuine heavyweight he couldn't really put on enough weight to be an authentic heavyweight fighter so they dropped him down a class and in a sense Stevens has had a similar problem because even he isn't tremendously heavy and he carries a little bit of spare flesh around his midriff force the pace he can't allow Conte to dominate the fight early on Conte getting the left hand working in the second round Both 
both these men are 22 years old. Les Stevens, in fact, is two months older than John Conte. But a very impressive professional record after a very successful amateur career. So not many fireworks in the first two rounds here. Both men fighting behind a stiff left jab. Good left hand from Conte. Two good jabs. well with the left hand. Stevens looks very composed, very settled. Conte Camp, the manager George Francis there has got the towel. We're hoping that his more powerful punching would make the difference in this fight against Stevens. Because of his 22 victims in 23 fights, Conte has stopped or knocked out 18 inside the distance. John Conte, the triple light heavyweight champion, the darker boots, remember. Just looked as if he was edging ahead there at the end of round three. Seven to go. These two were in the England team together as amateurs. Both the same age, both with impressive professional records. Conte up to now in his career. It looks as if he's going to go rather further than Stevens, and indeed has done so. And he won three titles. While Stevens is still waiting for his first title chance. Come on, John, lad. Come on, John. Stevens heavier. He wants to make the most of that. in his fourth round quite clearly to go forward and mix it with Conte it's a good right hand from Conte but it was Stevens who launched the first attack and there's a warning there about the collision of heads from referee Harry Gibbs but this is the most lively round we've had and it's got the crowd going from Stevens. And the champion forced back in round four.
Well, in the first two rounds, they stood and looked at each other and sparred a bit, but now they've really got to work. Determined effort this by Stevens not to let Conte draw ahead early in the fight. Stevens jabbing well with that left hand. Certainly the best round that Stevens has had. He had a real thriller last month at the World Sporting Club when he took the Southern Area title in the fight against Tim Wood. It went the full ten rounds and Stevens won on points, but he showed that night that he can be a crowd pleaser. And that's something he's very anxious to prove because up to now I don't think he's really been accepted with the popularity he might have liked. And the instructions to Les Stevens in the white boots as he came out for round five were clearly audible from trainer Peter Hill. Wanted him to do as he was doing in the last round, go forward and throw punches at Conte, put the pressure on the champion. isn't thought to possess the big knockout punch, Stevens, so he's got to do his job with an accumulation of punches if he can. Conte, though, does have the big one if he gets the chance to use it. As soon as Conte lands a scoring punch, Stevens is straight back. Quite prepared to stalk his man, is Stevens. Because he's got even more to gain from this fight than Conte. Whose sights are set on his European Championship defence next month. Not that he wants a setback tonight in any way at all. But Stevens feels he's got something to prove. sharper, harder puncher of these two, but Stevens keeps coming on and he's very quick to retaliate. The thing that Conte can't afford to do is to stand and pose because Stevens is quite prepared to come at him. It was a year ago tonight that Conte stopped Terry Daniels in six rounds on the Las Vegas bill when Joe Bugner challenged Muhammad Ali and it was after that fight that George Francis the manager decided that he would take Conte down to light heavyweight and since then in addition to winning his three titles he was also voted the best young boxer of 1973 in this country by the British boxing writers halfway through and Stevens still coming forward, trading punches. And he's only the third British opponent, by the way, that John Conte has met in his 24 professional fights. The other two were Billy Aird and Chris Finnegan, and he beat them both. And if he's ahead here against Stevens, it's not by much.
applause for the left jab from Conte. But it's been very much a fight of two left hands so far. Neither man has managed to land the really telling right. staying on the move, which he's got to do. Because if he stands still, that's what Stevens wants. seen in the first half of the fight that's very possible six rounds gone and four to go both men unmarked Conte is ahead on my card. He's the sharper puncher of the two. But Stevens mustn't be underrated because he's doing well as many people thought he would. so far as Conte really be able to get any sustained attacks going. It's certainly Stevens who has come forward the most. these two fight you get the impression they know a fair amount about each other nothing's been given away nobody's got themselves into any sort of trouble they both stood there fairly square on and eyed each other very warily coming in behind those left hands Conte trying to land the big right Stephen saw it coming Past contest, Stevens has tended to mark up a bit round the face. No sign of anything very dangerous so far, though. So Stevens still there and still holding out his reputation of being an awkward and a very game opponent. Second goal. Three rounds to go, and Conte still not dominating the fight the way he might have liked to. He's found it hard to unsettle Stevens, who has come on persistently, as we thought he might. Neither 
neither man has been in any sort of trouble at all in the first seven rounds. Some good boxing from Stevens there. Put some nice punches together and then moved away as Conte tried to get back in. Impressive start to this round by Stevens. It's a non-title fight, but he's got an awful lot to fight for. straight away. A tremendous right hand by Stevens and the gun shield's gone. Picked up by Conte's manager in the corner. Very good round for Stevens this. Putting some good punches together. He's got the crowd behind him too. And Conte very much on the receiving end in this round but Back he came, Stevens up immediately, doesn't look worried. But this fight, as wide open as it's ever been. Conte losing his balance and stumbling into Stevens now. This is the best round we've seen. It was really sparked off by the way Stevens came out at the start. It's really Stevens that's made this fight. Use of the head by Conte brings a stern reprimand from Harry Gibbs. And Stevens trainer Peter Hill was on his feet in the corner there complaining about that. What a good round that was for Les Stevens. Just at that moment in the fight when he needed it as well to prove that he was still very much in there with a chance. He came out for that round, he took the fight to Conte again. And he scored very well with both hands well as we go into round nine i've got this scored more or less level and the feeling around the ringside at the albert hall is that stevens is in here with a real chance as good as conte with two rounds to go it's a really brave effort by the wedding man this the last round particularly and john conte now has got to prove his championship class really has been hard to separate them because Conte has never been allowed to dominate. There have been times when Stevens has looked much more confident as a cut emerge now, and it looks as though it's underneath Conte's left eye. There's some blood certainly on Conte's cheek. And things really beginning to go Stevens' way here. Had a great eighth round, and now in the ninth, Conte is cut. It's definitely underneath the left eye. Conte's going to come out of this with some credit. He's got to dominate now like he hasn't dominated before. Because Stevens has still got plenty left. And he's still looking very composed. Cut doesn't seem to have worsened. And Stevens, as he had throughout the contest, going forward taking the fight to Conte. And the warning is to Conte. The second one he's had. 
those tactics won't go down well with Harry Gibbs. And Conte now trying to mix it because he's really got some work to do. Well, I've got a feeling that Stevens has fought even better than his manager Bev Walker thought he would. was almost drowned by the crowd noise at the end of round nine. There you can see the nick underneath the left eye of Conte. Doesn't seem to be causing too much concern in the corner. But don't forget he's due to fight Tom Boggs next month to defend his European title, so he doesn't want any damage if he can avoid it. Tenth and last round, Les Stevens will emerge from this. However, the verdict goes with an awful lot of credit. And if John Conte is ahead for the work that he did earlier in the fight, it's not by very much at all. It's a very good fight. It was a very good right hand, though. And Conte is coming strong at the end. And Stevens now on the receiving end at the start of the final round. And Conte going for the big finish. It's the right hand which at last is finding its goal. He hardly got one through in the first six rounds, but he's landed some in these last two as Conte. And again. And now at last the champion, the light heavyweight champion, in this heavyweight fight, begins to look the part. This is the worst moment for Stevens in the fight the first time he's looked really rattled that was the left and Conte now is getting through with the big punches he's left it late but he's found a way through now must have known that it was getting close and he's really got on top at the end of the fight there's some worried looks now in the Stevens corner whereas Conte's seconds and manager are urging him forward Been well controlled this by Harry Gibbs. And Stevens' composure dented in the last round. He's not quite sure where the next big punch is coming from. Conte and his anxiety to finish things off is getting tied up. He just can't get at him quickly enough now. Pfizer Les Stevens as he's still in there tussling away. This has really done justice to the top of the bill at the Albert Hall. And Stevens' legs almost went there as Conte threw the big right hand again. A really gripping last round. Stevens looking very tired at the end. And what a finish. Conte going towards Harry Gibbs. And he gets the verdict. And there won't be many arguments about that because Conte, at last in the final two rounds, found his true form. And he was the much stronger man at the finish. But the promoter and the crowd here at the Albert Hall will be very happy with the way that one turned out. <laughs>